So therefore, what is the learning today? There is a need for us to hire for the attitude and train for the aptitude. Deepal, we read this article 30 years ago, or 25 years ago, when Mr. Sanjadaratna underlined this sentence in this article. You photocopy it and give to all of us. Read it. Hire for the attitude and train for the aptitude. And the need is still there. Now, every time when we go for a training brief, what do they say? Attitude is not going to be a problem. Attitude is not going to be Sick hearing this word. This is a problem. This is a problem. This, the best program that is there in the country, Dora Mada Lava. I request every one of you to watch this. We did a change to my life, to my family. And we never missed this program. And one of the resource person is here today, Mr. Deepa Surayarchi. And friends, what do they say in that? It's all about you changing your A-T-T-I-T-U-D-E. That's what is needed at the end of the day. And it's humanly possible, but only thing we don't make a give a try, we don't own it, that we should do it. So today, hire for the attitude and train for the aptitude. Turn to the next page, please. And here we are, I'm going to tell you, my dear friends, a powerful saying. It is the magnitude of your attitude and not the aptitude that will decide your altitude and therefore have a gratitude towards your right attitude. Are you clear? <laughs> It is the magnitude, this slide is not given, right, but we will have access to these slides, hopefully, through the net soon. And hire for the attitude and train for the aptitude. It is the magnitude of your attitude and not the aptitude that will decide your altitude and therefore have a gratitude towards your right attitude. So the need is hire for the attitude and train for the aptitude. That's what we have to do. You as managers, what is the first thing that you have to do? Service recruitment. Take the right people in. Very tough to find, we know that. But change your methodology of recruiting. 